Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Equestria, playing as that huge Griffonian Empire. So right now it's May 6, 10, 20. And let's just address a few comments. After I just took a sip of some Griffonian coffee. So the first one. Uh, should I take out this group? The Commonwealth of New Maryland. This is the last piece of territory besides the Dread League that we have a border with on this continent. Well, I'd like to, but... Unfortunately, they're in the United Ponies Alliance, which is the largest faction besides the Reich's Pact. So, actually, that's the only other faction besides the Reich's Pact. And they're led by a pretty... Pretty... Big army. I... I just... It's huge. Maybe. I don't know. I, don't, I have no idea. Mustang developments. Ooh. And they are on all... Scraping the Barrel. Scraping the Barrel. Oh, okay, it's not bad. Not bad. I'm only on... Service by requirement, so... Right now, someone told me in yesterday's comments that these decisions actually you know what I'll talk about the decisions in just a bit let's just let our focuses get going on first uh, the pride of the fleet so in the ages past the most powerful and modern ships sailed along the coast of Griffonia showing all our wealth and splendor as well as giving others second thoughts before deciding to make a foolish move on us the fleet has been dispersed following the events of 7 or 978 but now we have the means to produce those floating fortresses again Griffonia shall be safe from outside interference Yes, but talking about these events, also, I'm not going to go to War Stalingrad, apparently one used to comment from yesterday saying, if I'm at war, I don't get like a special focus tree with Grover the Sixth, so I, I want to be at peace, but at the same time, I'm still going to go to war with the United Dragon Isles, which shouldn't be too bad to take out, they don't have much manpower, they got max of two divisions and not a really big fleet, so, that'd be good. And we got to make sure we build up actually a massive navy against... Equestria, because that's going to be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, you know what? I'm going to turn this all on. Do that, do that. Brought you guys to base. Here. Cool. So, I'm already justifying on these guys, which would be great. Uh, you guys are doing... Oh, where are you at? Oh, you're docking the hill for us. Very nice. Good. Go ahead and do that for now. You should have just enough range, hopefully, to do that. Let's see. Anything else? Hmm, naval doctrine's coming along very nicely. I can wait just a little bit. Better modern tanks? Yes, please. <clears throat> so, about these decisions that we could take regarding uh, this. Apparently these establish puppets, basically. So, of Grencliff and Flusland, which is, I think Grencliff is over here. Yeah, so we got to establish him as a puppet, which is... It's an okay decision. So, I can, I'm probably going to wait for that. Ooh, Commonwealth of Eldoran, huh? Oh. Okay, well, whatever. And we're still trying to get these ships done. Jet engines, very cool. What else do we need? Output, sure. Because last time we were struggling with output, I deleted most of my guns. So now we're starting basically fresh and anew. Which is okay. Which is okay with me. So we're not going to do these, so no thank you. No thank you. I appreciate your offer, but no thank you. Maybe we'll raid the banks later. Maybe. I mean, we really don't need it. We have about 1,100 factories, so. And a good amount of uh, Griffonian coffee. Uh, I couldn't do that too. Oh, what are we missing? Uh, I will let you know I am building more divisions just because if the Dread League declares war on me, that's not good. If I go to war with New Maryland, I need divisions on there. We have an army up here, but I'm going to need a massive army. Also, whenever I see this, this reminds me immediately of Finland and Sweden and Norway. Just like this little curvature. I don't know why. Is that the Baltic Sea? Hmm. Cool. Floating airways. As airplanes continue to perform operations that are outside of artillery scope... Naval High Command has expressed an interest in expanding and modernizing our carrier fleet. They argue that this new strategy would control the seas with less resources spent on upkeep, and, giving the, and given the results, we're inclined to agree with them. Yes, yeah, so let's see what happens. Good, fighting pilots. Great. Now we could continue doing that. I'm going to wait just a little bit more. Next generation chance. Air stuff looking pretty okay. Yeah, it's probably time to move on to this next fighter. Oh, look at that. That's, that looks pretty cool. Let's start getting some jet fighters. And Stalingrad. We won't take them out We won't take them out first, but we definitely want Grover here first. 
So we got a guy down there, which is cool. Tons of political power that I really have no use for. If that's the case, I'm just going to spend on local agent recruitment. Cool. Can I only do so much at a time, I guess? What well, criticize for weak policy? I love that hat. Oh my goodness. Less daily support for fascism? Well, hmm. I don't know about that. Cool. You guys maximize that army first. And how much longer will we have to wait? Well, less than two months. Good. So you guys are done there. Uh, let's get some carriers. Why not? Eventually we'll get some carriers. Right now, our cryptology is doing okay. Equestria is going to take forever. Changing hives. Olenia will take forever. That's okay. Once Olenia is done, then these will uh, go pretty quickly. So. Hopefully, I don't. I can't imagine these guys making any more divisions uh, for now. You know what? Oh, actually, that's not a, that's not good a thing to do right now. Since we're already doing this, we might as well wait. We might as well do this to get even better tactical bombers. Since we're here, infantry equipment, you might as well do that. Convert all the good stuff. Do we need any more conversions? No, we don't. Cruisers, I love cruisers. Rock. No, I don't need to see that. Uh, floating airways. I love how quickly the focus trees focuses complete. I love it. Unrelenting armado. Get more output and con dockyard construction speed. Having achieved excellence in naval development, combined with being at the forefront of naval strategy as well, we can now push this knowledge to use. The glory days of our fleet have returned, and there will be plenty of warships in each and every port we control. The sun shall never set on us. Absolutely, my friends. Look at all these ships being made. I love it. Ooh, Stalingrad. I will go to war with Stalingrad, though, before we go to war with Equestria. Unless they go to war with me. Unless like, Stalingrad goes to war with these guys. Actually, are you... Hmm. I don't remember this tree too well, but... Hmm. We should, we should use a nuke sometime. Let's see you guys. Come there. Nice. So, we don't need these Panzer Divisions anymore. Disperse Industry 5. Very good, very good. So these tanks, they need another support company. Field hospitals probably isn't going to cut it. You know, support anti-air might be good to do. Yeah, maybe that. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe. Cool, if you guys need to train, since some of you guys did do that, that's okay. I'm going to immediately go to war since... Uh, ooh. Zero percent. Hmm. Since by, by June of 1021, we have to be at peace. Any other divisions here? Oh. That cost me guns. That's okay. Uh, I mean, we sunk... Well, did we just kill their navy? Yeah, we just killed their navy. So we need more naval supremacy. Hmm. Hmm. I must have done one first. If that's the case... Basing them over here probably isn't a great idea. I want you guys to not do that. But come, yeah, come over here. Everyone come over here. Let's see if we can do that. Sure. And go back. Do naval escorting. You should be able to. <clears throat> Your range really isn't good, though. Maybe I should have waited to do this a little later. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Now that's really disappointing that you just can't do that. Hmm. Unrelenting Armada. Well then. I've got an idea. Let's see. East Generation. We're going to go with reopen the Kaiser Lysha Flug Academy. When Herman Meyer betrayed the Empire and fled to Hauklan, he single-cloudedly set our aerial military back by decades. However, we cannot continue to live in fear of traitors and deprive ourselves from a professional air force. Let us learn from the mistakes of the last century and reopen the Imperial Air Academy. Yeah, so, which ones, which one of you guys suck? Let's see. You. You are old. I'll put you over there. Oh, that did help out a little bit. Now, you guys. I think the ones with battleships are pretty darn old. There you go. 
That should help out a little bit. We should be able to at least maybe get over there. Might as well do that one too. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see. Let's put you guys up in half. So we have another fleet down there. Now, you do have enough range. They do have enough range to get down here. Uh, let us take off this one. One, two. Oh, I know. One, two, three. And get to that little tiny little thingy. You should be able to do that. Oh, look. More divisions. Great. Cancel lonelies. So be it. Cool carriers. Even better carriers. How do you not have? Mm -hmm. Battle cruisers, battle cruisers, battle cruisers. I, mean, I don't mind splitting these guys up too. I want you guys to come over here. Can they make it over here? Yes. Yes, they can. Which would be good. They still can't get over there. How? They, you have more than enough range. You basically have more than enough range. You know what? Take you guys off of here. I just need one group going in here. That's all I need. They've got it. They've got more than enough naval supremacy. Uh, why aren't you going? Oh, hold on. Did I miss a place? I missed a place. Right there. That's why. Duh. That's a problem with naval invasions. you got to make sure every single thing is good to go. Now, they should go at this point. They should go. So, reaping the whirlwind... Griffonian finest aces. Yeah, I'll do this one. So, for all his crimes, Herman Meyer has demonstrated the success of his air power theories despite using outdated planes, low supplies, and dirt poor infrastructure. If we're to prevail in the air, we should learn from what works rather than what then be held back by petty grudges. The future lies in a strong core of bold elite pilots able to improvise and act independently. Yes. Uh, throw him over there for now. Now, you have no excuse not to go. Uh, warm waters. Oh, I know. Oh, this is my bad. Right there as well. Right? So we got one, two, three, four. Because I don't care about this one. I mean, you guys can do that one too if you really want. There you go. Okay, now finally they're going. Thank God. Oh my goodness. Hey, look. Carriers. Love it. Destroyers are okay. Subs are okay. Improved light batteries are... Eh. Get some landing crafts. Alright, so the, these guys have landed. That's good. Finally. Thank God. Oof. That took forever. And... I should move. I know we got extra factories here and there. But I don't really need too many of them, to be honest with you. Oh, take bomber threes. Uh, we're already... Oh, wait. Do those, do those oh, just auto-upgrade? Oh, that'd be really nice if they do. Oh my goodness. Are they considered the same or different? They're, I think they're considered different though. Hmm. That's okay. Uh, medium tanks? Actually, we don't need you anymore. Thank you. Mm, light tanks. Might as well make some more strategic bombers. That's fine with me. Cool. Uh, well then. Well, that's certainly interesting. Uh, where are their divisions? And they're gone. Ah, peace. And we're going to say a peace until Grover gets older. Which would be a good thing. Does anyone here have to train? No? Good. You guys. Actually, you know what? Let's let time go on for now. Do a few more focuses and prepare ourselves for an inevitable war against Equestria. Yes, we almost have enough divisions there. That's great. Now, you guys, I'm going to smash you guys back together probably. Or not. Or I just do it anyways. There you go. 
So you have quite a few task forces. And you can just do that. Get rid of that. Uh, so the people we're going to go to war with first will be Stalingrad. So you guys should be like here and there. But in the meantime, go and train. Happy 2020. 10, 21. Ah, the finest aces. <clears throat> <clears throat> the spirit of experimentality. Instead of relying on a singular predictable strategy, our pilots should be well-versed in multiple tactics for waging air warfare. Although the usage of airplanes in war is only a recent development, the few conflicts in which they played a role has suggested that there is no definite one-beat-all option. Good. Anything else we can do here yet? No, military training, we don't really need that. We already have 500 of those bad boys, so that's pretty good. So you guys are doing okay. We have a little bit of supply issue right here, which is actually non-existent because we're actually just training guys. Uh, you guys are actually down here too, on the front lines. Streamline manufacturing, very good, very good. More construction speed because, why not? You guys, actually, you're going to be led by a third field marshal. But for now, you guys are coming down here. Mail in front. Cool. Maybe let a day go by, whatever. <clears throat> Underneath a marshal. Mm, Catherine, Rockbeak. Good. Very good. You guys do that. We'll grab. Mm, that's a little bit too ahead of a time. Jet fighters, we must upgrade you to pretty maxed out. Helps out with the reliability. Very good. Convert. That's actually Falca, huh? We have plenty in reserve. Cool. Ten more divisions, great. Uh, give me four. Throw them right there. Uh, yeah, that actually. It's gonna have to be like this. <clears throat> Doesn't seem like we're actually going to need a lot of divisions for that up there, which is fine with me. Uh, you might as well start doing that. That's fine. Modern tanks. You could upgrade them, but now. Nah. Good. And since we're here. Oh, motorized AA. So this is going to hurt our suppression, our weight, our supply. Barely. But gives you more defense, more breakthrough, hardness, soft attack, hard attack, soft and hard attack, more fuel capacity, more HP, a little bit less speed. Do I want to sacrifice us? Uh, armor barely goes up, so... <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is cracking or something. You know what? It's not really not worth it, then. It's not worth doing that. It's really not. I'm actually, to be honest with you, tempted to make some of my infantry mechanized. I'll go and grab another guy. Happy the rich! Happy the rich! Well, it must be nice being rich. Uh, modernizing our fighters. No other branch of the Air Force is more glamorous than the fighter squadrons, which means there's a steady influx of recruits who yearn to fly and serve the country. With that in mind, our fighter designs will have to be improved with lighter alloys, stronger engines, and heavier armaments, while still being economic to produce. Wow, that sounds like they want the best of every world possible. I don't think that's possible, but then again, I don't live in this universe, so maybe it is. We got a lot of divisions, which would be fun to destroy. Equestria, you need to lose that. Uh, yeah. Oh, my. Oh! Wow, look at all that naval exercises. Nice. Very nice. Uh, you guys. Oh, my... That was a new... Battleship? Oh, <gasps> that's a super heavy battleship. Yes, look at that. Oh, yeah, I love the super heavies. Mm. I'd be so bad if I was a general during World War II. I'd be like, I want battleships. Nothing but battleships. Terrible, but I want battleships. Naval invasion defense... Uh, she'll die since we've got quite a bit of naval XP here. This will help out definitely when we go to war with Equestria. Actually, when is this a Dread League strike? Because we have enough to... Well, I hope we'll have enough divisions on the front line against these guys. Ooh, I might not. Hmm. Naval bombers? That's probably a good thing to invest in if we want carriers. Probably. Get carrier fighters too, which I don't know why I upgraded. Yeah, that's good. That's really good to have then. <sighs> Heavy fighters are okay. Strategic bombers. Close air support. We've done nothing with our air doctrine. Well, I'm using technical bombers, so that makes sense right there. Let's see. There you go. Shit. That's good. And we're going to need some carrier fighters, too, if we want to have a couple of boys that fly in the air. There you go. Okay, so our stockpile's looking great. 
carry fighters, we gotta make some. And now we're just a few months away from having Grover the Sixth take over from Archon Eros the Seventh. Oh, that was a lot of motorized. Oh, cool. That, that was finally done. You know what? These guys are 20 combat width. Imperial Guard. Uh, super Imperial Guards. There you go. And we'll just make them big boys. Stacks. Stacks and stacks. Actually, that is six. That's that's a bit too much. I'm not gonna lie, that's a bit too much. Even though I have used that template before, eleven six, it's not bad. But I only recommend it if you're using like puppets manpower because they really have low organization. Cornelio, you know what? I'm gonna tell you, you're using big boys. <clears throat> we need more guns. That's all right. Go and train. Since these guys will be on the front lines against Equestria. So my goal against Equestria is just to hold the line for a while, because they're just going to be smash and smash and smash against us. Oh, modernizing our fighters, great, let's go ahead and do surgical precision. While the bomber's destruction capabilities are unmatched, they are unpractical for anything smaller than a building. Instead, fighters can be modified to perform dive bombing raids on traits, ar on traits artillery, tanks, and anti-aircraft defenses, allowing the next wave of aircraft to proceed unmolested. All this ensures our ground forces will not be slowed down by any significant defensive positions. Cool. I mean, we just automatically get, like, cast one. That's cool. Yeah, we need more infantry equipment. Hmm. Hmm. Probably load that by a few bits. A few bits. You know what? I'm also thinking here. You guys should be able to hold pretty decently. Obviously, I'm going to need a bigger navy. But you know what? I'm actually probably going to do that. I'm going to buy combine you guys. Let time go on. <clears throat> Come and stab and claw. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's see. Oh well. Ooh, this is not gonna be good. If that's a case. I'm gonna put you guys up here then. And train when you're ready. Uh, how big is their army? They have a decent navy. They have a pretty decent navy. They have, oh no. Di oh. Okay, no divisions. I like that. I like seeing that. You guys will probably do pretty darn well until Equestria shows up. We got some shell dies. Let's go and grab that next. The coronation, my friends. The coronation. <clears throat> Today marks a wonderful day in the reconstituted Griffonian Empire. This morning, rising with the dawning sun, Grover, sixth of this line, was crowned emperor. Upon coming of age, the young chick is no longer that, but a proud member and glorious leader of the Grand Empire. The ceremony itself was a beautiful affair, and with the Arcanet Choir providing all the soundtrack necessary, Archon Eros, the now former regent, gave a short speech, calling forth visions of a wonderful and glorious future for the Empire. The crown was rested upon its rightful owner's head, and the crowd sh present cheered for the new emperor. Then all were asked for silence as Grover gave his speech. Friends, brothers, and sisters, we have finally returned our holy Griffonian Empire from the darkness of this generation. And even still, our foes stand against us ready to strike, but this matters not. With the gods on our side, no one or none can stand against us. From this day forward, we will march confidently towards our destiny, not one step back. Oh. Oh. Kaiserlicia Liga Desrakis. Oh, hello. You, doesn't look like he's aged, honestly, that much. That's okay. That's okay with me. Oh, another tank. Good. Let's see. You have upgrades. Well, we've got it, guys. Let's go ahead and justify on Stalingrad, then. We have it. A leader. A fearsome leader that will rule us into the next ages. Can't wait. Um, that's the case. I'm going to position you like that. Surgical precision. Awesome. And threat from the sea. Both offensively and defensively, air superiority is essential for naval vessels to perform their duties. The Naval High Command has requested a modernization of the specialized bombers, which will be indispensable in securing our controls over the seas. Do we get anything else here? Someone said that I get like a new focus tree or something eventually. I'm at peace right now. Maybe not. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Cool. Well, no new focus tree, but that's okay. We're planning to go to war anyway, so. And I'll let you know this campaign obviously is running down running down, you know. So we have Stalingrad, which we'll take out, hopefully by the end of this episode. Maybe, maybe not. And we've got some other people to take out as well, which will be fun. 
and then we'll see what happens. Scout planes, eh, maybe we should use those. Armor, yeah, armor is armor support companies. Hmm, let's get some of that. And I did say I want to get some anti-air earlier. We'll see what happens. Questioning their sovereignty, that's a good idea. You guys will help defend against the Crystal Empire and Equestria proper, which, yeah, actually defending that's going to be nearly impossible with our resources right now. The March of the Students. Oh, here we go. Uh, the Emperor recently became of age and is ready to rule his reunited empire, but it's clear that he must immediately get to work. Young students of a new generation, more well-educated and conscious than their parents, are calling for peace and freedom across the empire. Throughout their life, they have known nothing but war and mass conscription and strict military production quotas. Now they're tired of it, and dream of a peace that is maintained in a society that is demilitarized. While the old guard considers them Republican sympathizers, the truth is that most of them see the benefits of imperial rule and simply want reform, and they want it now. So if you want to read the rest of this, go ahead. I'm not going to read the middle paragraph, so there's going to be, going to be like protests and stuff like that. But it is clear that His Majesty Grover the Sixth cannot ignore this movement. Above all, the students demand an end to the dictatorship which was maintained under the rule of the Imperial Regent. If Grover the Sixth simply continues to act like a despot of old, it is not out of question that the horrors of 7978 are repeated. Either way, he will have to make appeasements. The question is, how far should he go? This time, the decision is entirely his to make, and he cannot delegate it to a regent. The fate of the Empire is in his claws. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Student protests. Oh dear. Times, they are a-changing. Oh, goodness, we should have went to war earlier. Oh. Oh, yeah, we definitely have a different focus for you here, then. Hear them out. Talk with the leaders. Recall coverage for a better tomorrow. Send in the tanks. Oh, the crackdowns. Oh, my gosh. Support the Volks Front. Forgive and forget. Civilian. Controlled opposition. Permit regionalism? No, 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 we already tried that. Cap conscription. Abolish conscription. Only allow you to use volunteer only. Liberty. Checks and balances. Federalization. Oh my goodness, I should have went to war before I done th did this. Constitution. A caring state. Imperial... Oh, elections. Why would we want elections? Student protests. Oh, crap. Oh, I want to go to war, too. Oh, hear them out. Um, let's see. No threat of revolution. Not to end resistance, but to reform the empire in a more democratic nation. Send in the tanks. Uh, this sounds like it's a bad idea, but let's do it anyway. So, these protesters are nothing but a potential repeat of 978, possibly paid for by foreign influences who bemoan the resurgent state of our glorious empire. Having legitimate concerns is acceptable, but attempting to undermine the emperor's authority is not. It is clear that the only force will disperse this trouble. I really don't want to do that. I really don't like this. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I just want to take up the communists in Equestria, and that's it. Oh, for the love of God, I hope we don't get rebellions coming through here. This is why we have occupied territories, man. And, let's see, do we have any more integrations? I don't think we have any more integration stuff. Oh, my goodness. Why me? Why, Grover? Angered by posturing. If I go to war, it sounds like they're going to have rebellions. <sighs> Send in the tanks. Oh, oh there you go. Hell quill, good. I don't want to start back at square one. We've done too much. Oh boy. So, we'll see how brave they truly are. The army would clear out the protesters while he consulted his closest advisors with what reforms would be necessary to keep the empire together. The lives of the few radicals who refuse to stand down would be a small would be a small price to pay for averting another decade of strife. Oh, we lose Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh, we're gonna do that. Ban them. We lose stability. I'm gonna do go ahead and do this. Uh, it feels like we're just playing at the beginning of the game again. Oh, and we'll do that too. Uh, arrest the students. Mass crackdowns. Muzzle the press. Oh, the newspapers and radio broadcasts are spreading like wild hysteria with their biased reporting, showing us as tyrannical murderers of children while the protesters are being whitewashed and absolved of their crimes. Free speech is a dangerously radical policy that could convince the gullible masses to rise up in revolt. We have no choice but to silence the rabble-rousing journalists and promote those who remain loyal. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea. Oh my goodness. Daily change is going down. 
Uh, can I not have that? Archon? Daily political power. Less daily political power. No, that's not bad. Oper oh, an operative slot. Well, it looks like no one can give me more fascism for now. And I, ha I still haven't forgot my race text. I still haven't forgot about them, for the most part. For the most part. This is turning into a little bit of a crisis now. Oh. So we're going to muzzle dissent, or muzzle the press. You want to read that? Go ahead. Uh, so, although the Emperor had a degree of tolerance for criticism of himself and the government from the media, the situation had deteriorated to the point where allowing the media to spread whatever falsehoods they liked was inviting disaster. As such, a new imperial decree has temporarily suspended the freedom of the press, and the state has now final approval of anything put into the newspapers or broadcast across the airways. The Emperor hoped that with the spread of subversive information stopped, the message of the protesters would soon be forgotten. Arrest the students. Emboldened by seditious philosophies, these students, who were supposed to be our bright future, that would inherit the order we fought so bitterly to restore, have returned their back on the Emperor. No doubt they conspire with the Republican remnants or worse. Every creature who has been involved in the protest must be investigated thoroughly to determine their true motivations. Oh my goodness. It seems like, if I go to war now, it seems like a really bad idea. Really, really bad idea. Well, at least this is not going down too slowly. Oh. Oh, we need more guns. Oh, we must have made more divisions or something. Mm. Okay, that's good. Now, I expect with all this stuff, I would expect the resistance to be growing, but it's probably not. Alright, we're going to arrest these guys. Ooh. So if you want to read this, go ahead. Units of the army surged across the empire as soon as the order was given, breaking into secret secret meeting places and houses to round up the leaders of the movement as quickly and efficiently as possible. If even a few were to escape the army, their sway over the protesters would most likely allow them to use the arrest as kindling for the flames of revolution and cause far more trouble than the protests had ever done. But no such future came to pass. As the army managed to arrest every griffin of importance within the movement, leaving the rest of the protesters without any clear leadership to coordinate between the desperate groups that had united for the protests. Good, good. Mass crackdowns. In this infestation is worse than we thought. <clears throat> It is not just occurring in Griffinheim, but across the entire empire. Their numbers grow by the day, and their demands are becoming increasingly radical and unacceptable. The Rex army will have to be mobilized to handle this issue as quickly as possible. Yeah, it's probably a good idea I don't go to war right now. It's really a good idea. Yep, let's go and do that. We still get 1.41 political power a day, and I really need to raise my stability. Oh, 40%. Student protest. Oh, we can go to war. Azkaban. Isn't that a Harry Potter thing? I think it is, yeah. So we can go to war by October 31st, but at this point, uh, oh, I really don't like that student protests. Hmm. You had such a bright future ahead of our, of ourselves. But these people want rights? What? What? What are you talking about? So the crackdowns. A fitting lesson if there ever was one. If you want to read this, go right ahead. But we're putting them down. Stability, political power, good. <clears throat> the once and future Kaiser of Griffinkind. In spite of everything, tensions remain palpable and unrest could be very likely to continue. The Emperor has decided, after long consultation with his advisors, to implement token reforms that will quell most of the moderate protesters while ensuring that the power remains centralized within the Emperor himself. The line of Grover, of the purest blood and most noble Griffin qualities, shall lead us now and forever. As I'm slowly making a massive army. I mean, just huge. Oh, actually, I should probably do this instead. Grab another dude. Mary Hardbeak. Cool. And since we're here. 13 light cruisers, you might as well join them. Even though they only have one battle cruiser or whatever. Oh my goodness, I am really not feeling these fighters, man. Not feeling it. Not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. I'm not. Modern airships, that'll be good to do. What would also be good to do is to put some planes on our guys. Fighter threes are nice. Well, jet tactical bombers. Or fighters, I guess. Um, yeah, I could do that. There you go. Even you guys get some people. Which would be great. Uh, over here, let's grow. get some... go and they are deployed just in case they need them more knights good we need these knights Oop. so the reforms additionally a small 
A smattering of token reforms put some barriers between the church and the government, granting limited recognition to regional dialects of the official language of the empire, as well as allowing some of the less disastrous, distasteful religions to practice their beliefs openly. Cool. Grover reforms. Ooh. To a safer empire. Well, it could be worse. We are now non-aligned, non... Wait, you guys are the leading party? What the heck? All right, so, we're from the Kaiser Partei, controlled opposition. Ooh, money changes griffins, this is known. The Emperor's authority cannot be undermined, but a paid opposition, which will give the public an appearance of checks and balances, is the next step in bringing the Empire to a new age. We are certain that the opposition will be smart enough to read what we give them and not attempt to propose radical ideas. Best not to bite the claw that feeds them, after all. So, I still want to go to war. No, Archon! No! I need my Archon. Daily support for unaligned. No. Oh, actually, you're still right there. Oh, you were... We lost you because we're not fascist. Um... It's not kind of like that, but... We could use the stability. A little bit more stability. Ooh, I do want to go to war now. Oh, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. That's going to hurt that a little bit more. Controlled opposition. Let's do this one, and then we'll go to war. Which might be a really disastrous idea, actually. <laughs> cool. So, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Managing the Empire would certainly be easier if his opponents wasted their time debating with the Kaiser Partei within the Reichstag instead of organizing against them. Sometimes he would even let them propose legislation that the Kaiser Partei would work into a more reasonable form to be implemented. Allowing the opposition a few irrelevant irre victories would be a fine way of dispersing their anger. For now. Permit regionalism. Oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Demil oh, I'm not doing that. No. 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 Reform the Kaiser Partei. Grover V's reign saw an attempt to establish an imperial political party dedicated to furthering the cause and idea of monarchism and autocratic rule outside of the traditional methods of court politics. The attempt fell through, but we can learn from the mistakes and build a new and successful Kaiser Partei. Even in upholding tradition, one must learn to use innovative methods. Cool. I want to go to war. This is probably a, this is probably the worst idea I have right now. And now we have no stability. But whatever. Whatever. We didn't need it. Where we're going? We probably don't need it, right? Uh... Well then. I wonder if we could win quickly enough. Uh, go ahead and do that. I'd like more weekly war support. You guys might be able to win, actually. Maybe not right there, but whatever. Uh, navally? Oh, we got a lot of mines. Oh, they're trying to shoot our guys down. How big is their navy? Mm, not big. Not that big. Cool. Uh, we are smashing the heck out of them. It's a quick war, you know? We lost... Or they lost quite a few planes. That's fine. Uh, our ships? They need to repair. They have the absolute right to repair. And destroy all their enemy ships. Cool. Uh, where are they going? Oh, they probably have military access to Equestria. That makes sense. Wow, I can't believe we're actually out of political power. I mean, we have 100, but... I'm not exactly running out, but still. That is interesting, to say the least. I need to move you guys down as well, just because it's starting to get a little bit difficult to manage all this. 8,000, half a million, pretty much. Cool. Ooh. Very nice. Uh, I'll throw you right there. Or so. That would be good. I love the armor. I love armor so much. Good. Help hold the line if you can. Oh, we split them up. Great. That encirclement's dead. That encirclement's dead. These guys are shifting armies around like crazy. Ah, oh, the navy. Just shredding them. Gerhard is such a good general. Level 5, almost level 6. I'm so glad I gave him this stuff down here. Hmm. Oh, the tank's just moving. Reform the Kaiser Partei. If you want to read this, go right ahead. <clears throat> Thusly, the Kaiser himself sent a letter to the leaders of the Kaiser Partei, thanking them for their services, and asking them to step aside and allow the Emperor's preferred candidate to take over the party. The Kaiser Partei itself will refocus on the clear and dis demonstrable benefits of the Kaiser's rule has been brought to the Empire, as well as providing intelligent and well-researched counter-arguments to the most common Republican 
screeds that can be shout found shouted on the streets. With any luck, the Kaiser Partei might be able to make Grover the Sixth the most popular Kaiser that the Empire has ever seen, or at the very least, make the idea of an armed revolution unpalpable to the Republicans. No luck, tanks. Uh, let's see. I'd say I kind of want to do more of this. Cool. Modern tanks. At this point, you might as well make them really good. I want them to be impregnable. Or, you can't pierce these bad boys. Cool. Yeah, Mark 1s. That's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. Oh, so many more of that. So be it. And, reaffirm the Kaiser's role. Oh, good. That's good. Although the Empire can be part of its long heritage and just laws, there are some issues that remain unresolved because they were never strictly codified. One of them would be the legal definition of the Emperor's authority, which has varied depending on the ruler and circumstances. To prevent any further misunderstandings or disasters, it will have to be put to the paper. Yes. Good. And we have an encirclement here. Uh, it's a casual two divisions. You know, it's okay. Good. Uh, you guys are moving in. Great. And these guys are trying to retreat back into here, but it's not really working. We've lost less than 20,000. They've lost 1.2 million. I love it. And it's given our guys, our navy, time to just go pew 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 pew. I could satellite these guys. But, you know what? That's going to be the end of today's episode, because this has been... This has, been an, this has definitely been an adventure today. Holy cow, with all these reforms. People want reforms, they want rights. No, 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 what are you talking about? But anyways, tomorrow, we will begin a war, hopefully, with Equestria. Or, you know, basically the entire enemy faction, because that's the last group alive, besides the Dread League. But you know what? I hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was certainly interesting. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. If you have, thank you very much. But I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you all tomorrow.